Target has dropped so many new items in 2024 and we are going to unbox them all. This is a $500 Target unboxing. I haven't been to the store in forever. I haven't tried any of the new products, so I'm gonna show you what's good, what's bad, what you should run and pick up because it's not going to last long. So the first item we have is this candelabra. It is $19.99 and it is from Hearth and Hand. So I always love a good candelabra. I think they're cute. This is something great that you can put in your kitchen, in your bathroom, something like that. I love to use LED rechargeable lights because you don't have to worry about like the fire hazard, um, but you get something cute. And if you look in these, you can actually see that it has like a needle inside so that it will hold your candle. Now, if you're picking up a candelabra and it doesn't have that, which most of them don't, all you have to do is get your lighter, heat up the base of the candle, some of the max will melt, melt, and then you'll have a little mold for it in the candelabra, but this is super cute. I don't know that I would pay $20 for this personally. I think you can get them a lot more affordably. I like a home goods or a really just at home goods, but this is definitely better priced than like a CB2 or Crate and Barrel. So this is very cute. And I do love the scalloped edge that is trending big time. So if you're into the more um, vintagey styles or if you're into like the really modern organic, I think this is going to work wonders for you. Now I also picked up candles, which are in here and I'm very, very excited about these. These are not flameless candles, but they are taper candles. So having candles that are like not white have <laughs> been really taking the world by storm recently. Normally when you think of candles, you think of like white waxy or like that creamy yellow color um, or Christmas candles, right? But they're coming out with like these nude ones that are kind of cute. And these are actually even ribbed. They're ribbed and they have a burn time of up to eight hours each. I wonder if that's actually true, but I do love that they're unscented. So I actually picked these up for this candelabra, not realizing that there are three holes instead of two, but these are very nice. And I think I actually picked up some more candlesticks in here, but I see a lot of people use candlesticks as part of their decor and I think sometimes it falls flat because people don't really know where to place them. It's kind of just like an addition that they kind of throw on. But I think this is great like in a kitchen, you want some ambient lighting, you want it to look cute. This is great on like a bookcase where you, you really can't fit anything that's super tall. You don't ever need to light it. You just want it to look cute. That is when you're going to use things like this. And I will say that for this haul, most of these things are like under $30 because I wanted to keep it affordable because the prices are going way up. You see, I only have a few ba bags around me. This was $526 in total. So things are getting really expensive. So I was trying to find things that are really, really affordable. Though there are a few things that are a little bit higher in price simply because I like them, so I bought them. Now these are two coffee cups because I'm a big coffee drinker, love it. This, <laughs> this looks like a candle holder. What do you think this is? Espresso shot. Well, is that because I already told you? Yeah. Okay. This is, all right, I understand that like an espresso mug is small, but this looks like it's just made for candles. It doesn't even have a handle. It, yeah, I mean like not like an espresso one, you'll have like that faux handle. And they'll give you something more than this. This is giving absolutely nothing. This is giving, this was for tea lights. It didn't sell well, so they rebranded. This is ridiculous. I don't remember how much this was, but it wasn't like, it might have been like $3 for this, for this. And I can't extend my arms super far. I just had surgery, so this is what you're gonna get, but I'll give you some sexy, B-roll, but this is going back to the store. This is this is highway robbery. It's giving Dollar Tree. It is giving, this is giving Dollar Tree. I'm sure you could find this in the Dollar Tree for way cheaper and still probably food safe. But this is microwave safe and dishwasher safe, so I'll give them that. I'll give them that. This though I do love. This is so cute. Mug ASMR. No one's doing home decor ASMR. Maybe I'll start the trend. This is a glass mug, obviously. It is dishwasher and microwave safe. I think this is cute. In 2024, I am trying to influence you all to decorate your kitchens because kitchens are forgotten about, but that's where we spend most of their time, uh, most of our time, or at least I do, because I'm the cook of the household. And it can be something as simple as putting a cute mug on your coffee machine. Sure, you don't have the cutest coffee machine, but the mug takes it to the next level and then you can drink out of it. A twofer, who doesn't love that? I think this is so cute. Amber is like trending big time because people are loving the burnt oranges, the burgundies, the mustards. They're taking over in the mid-century modern, which is like the hot new design style right now. Um, and in every other style besides like traditional. So this is so cute and it is super lightweight, which I really do love. I've never seen these candles before at Target, but I actually am a huge fan of Target candles. The Hearth and Hand Magnolia candles are actually like that girl. They are $20 a piece and I'll spend $20 on them every single time. I like the scent salt. It it gives. So when I saw these candles, which I think were a little bit more affordable, this is an Opal House candle with a 39 hour burn time. I wanted to try it. So it's called Artsy, that's the collection. 
featuring an expressive blend of tobacco and amber to inspire creativity. And I did like a really basic influencer thing and I just chose the one that I felt looked pretty. <laughs> I didn't look at the scent, but that's the type of scent that's up my alley, but okay. It's, it's giving basic tobacco candle. So the real test is going to be when I turn it, if it like really gives off a strong scent because I always find that like brands will create a candle and it smells really good. Okay, when I say brand, I'm talking about Ikea. I'm coming for Ikea right now. They have this tobacco candle. It smells so good in store. It's not lit. The second you get it home, you're like, ooh, my house is gonna smell like a fire. It's gonna smell like a sexy man. And it gives absolutely nothing. It, it does not smell at all, but I have high hopes for this. The reviews on this were pretty decent and there are many, many different candles in this collection. So I am going to keep this. This was, okay, this was only $17. This is a desk calendar. I just thought this was so little cute. I thought it was cute. Um, I don't need this. I have a desk. This does not belong on my desk, but I thought this might be cute for like your entryway if you wanna do a little entryway styling or a console because people always like, if I'm doing styling, I need to grab a vase. Okay, vases take up so much space, they're expensive and they have no real purpose because then you have to go buy flowers for them and they're super expensive. So I thought this could be like a fun little addition. It gives you the- You're like sitting in front of a vase and flowers. Yeah, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. At least mine are fake. At least mine are fake, I love that for me. But you can do your date, your time, whatever. I think this is a cute little thing. It seems like no one agrees with me because this is covered, covered in a layer of dust. Uh, but for $17, uh, it's not the first thing I would pick up, but I think for my sister-in-law, this is gonna be great. A lot of these things I picked up for this haul, my sister-in-law, she's moving into her very her first like house and she was like, keep help. SOS and it was like I'm here for you honey and you can never ever ever have too many coasters and this type of material this looks like travertine but it's actually not travertine they played me I hate that they got me they got me good this is a marble and wood coaster it's cute I guess you can never have too many coasters this was okay this is actually a great price this is $15 for four coasters and I know you're like, shouldn't they be like a dollar? Yes, but I have like coasters from like our house that were like $50 for all the coasters, but that's outlandish. I think that these are great. You can never have enough coasters because there's nothing, the Super Bowl's coming up, right? There's nothing like having a bunch of people over and you're trying to have fun, enjoy the game or enjoy whatever you're doing, but out the side of your eye, you just see that water ring on your coffee table, or maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But those are the things that keep me up at night. So I always like to have lots of coasters on hand, and I think that these are pretty cute. Great for farmhouse style, traditional style, transitional style, modern style, modern organic style. I mean, I think this works for everything except for like the Maximus like um, cottage fairy trend that's really taking over the internet right now. Now we are moving on to bag number two, and I'm very excited because I'm taking a little peek inside, and it has some things some things that I've seen like going viral on the internet. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Target now has this new collection called Figment, um, which they have all this great cookware stuff. And I've bought some cooking sheets like from them and I love them so far. So I wanted to pick up some more stuff from them. This is the poly cutting board set and it's giving absolutely nothing. These are just plastic cutting boards. They're really, really heavy and I didn't realize that they were going to give Dollar Tree. So they're going back to the store and that's all I have to say about them. But so far, otherwise with the collection, I've been really, really Really impressed. Next we have these salt and pepper mills. I think that these are just the cutest. I love a good salt and pepper shaker set. Um, I love that it comes with the sand. This is $14.99. These are more expensive like everywhere else. They go with these um, coasters. So I think this is a cute little set to have in your kitchen. Keep it on like your dining room buffet or something like that. This is gonna um, hold a decent amount of salt and pepper. Remember with your salt, throw a few grains of rice in there. Um, so that your salt doesn't get stuck because that drives me bonkers. But I like this. I'm, I'm gonna definitely take this over to my sister-in-law's house. Next we have this, which I'm really obsessed with. This is a ribbed tray. Anything that's ribbed, I love. Don't make any weird jokes in my comments, guys. Okay, so this is $30. This is a decorative tray. And I feel like in the past, Target has kind of fallen flat with the decorative trays because it's normally just like a sheet of metal with some handles or like a sheet of wood with some handles. So I love that this is giving a little bit more. This could be great for like arranging some moss sheets, some moss balls, some succulents, really anything, or on your coffee table. A lot of you buy trays and you just use it for bookshelf styling. That's not where you need a tray. You need a tray on your coffee table because let's face it, most of us eat in front of the TV. Nothing wrong with that. Watching The Bachelor. What are you guys thinking about the new season of The Bachelor? I'm living for it. I haven't watched The Bachelor in years, but I'm really, really liking, I think his name is Joey. His name is Joey and I like him. That's the kind of man that I'd want in my life. You know, anyway, so you're watching TV, you're eating at your coffee table. You wanna take the decor off really easily. You wanna use a tray for that. And this is a great way to do so. 
I love this. This is great. This is a keep for sure. It really gives me like CB2 vibes. Um, 100% and their decor is really, really expensive. It also reminds me of H&M Home, but I don't buy H&M Home because it's really difficult to return the things that I don't like. Speaking of CB2, oh, I love this. This is super lightweight. So, as I said, I'm having a hard time lifting stuff, so I'm here for the decor that's lightweight, but for the price, I would expect, expect this to be a little bit more heavy duty, but this is like this bowl. Um, the last time I did a haul, I showed you that bowl that's like a fluted bowl, and a lot of you said it looked like a coffee filter, which like super fair. So thank you, thank you. Full service today on the unboxing, because I'm rendered useless. So you, a lot of you said this looked like a coffee filter, which is like fair, but they sell this coffee filter for $350 at our house, and I saw you guys buy it, so I wanted to find an affordable alternative. But <laughs> this is a similar look on a larger scale. It's honestly giving like clam, it's giving under the sea, it's giving um, Little Mermaid, and I love that for us, but it's gold. If you don't like the gold, it's $25. Grab some spray paint, or I already know you have spray paint because you're here following me, and that means like me, you buy spray paint, think you're gonna use it for 50 DIY projects and only using it for once, so just sitting in your garage. Spray paint this, super easy. Um, I will say it does have a few scratches on it, which I'm kind of disappointed about since it literally came directly from the store. So maybe it was like a paint chip issue, but this is going to be great. This is going to be great for any styling. If you even need some place to like put your keys when you walk in the house, throw it in something like this. If you keep it just like your keys in your wallet, you're not gonna see that. I love something functional like this where you're like, you're hiding your mess on the inside. This is perfect for that, a keeper for sure. And if you're a DIY girly, you could also literally flip this over, drill a hole in it and turn it into like a pendant to go on like either side of your bed or something like that with a puck light in there. That would be such a fun little hack. So this gold, this is, Threshold, and that's why. So, well, that's also Threshold, right? That's Studio McGee. Yeah, Studio McGee, different type of gold. You can see it's like a brush gold. They ran some black around it. Like there's some black detailing in there um, with whatever lacquer or whatever you want to call it they use. And this is just like straight gold spray paint. So they did a little bit more there. And honestly, even though that this is Hearth and Hand and this is Studio McGee, I think they're very similar in terms of like construction and stuff, but just the shape of this, is more traditional. So that just shows you, it's really simple details like this, like, okay, this has more of like a conical shape and this is more of like an organic, like C shape. Those really subtle differences is really what makes something modern versus traditional and so forth. So that's what you wanna look for when you're out shopping. And that's what I'm here to help you with. So smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So disappointed in this because this looked great online, but this is $15, definitely worth $15, definitely going back to the store. And yeah, I'm a gold girly. So if you're thinking, why are all these things gold? I'm a gold girly. A lot of these things do come in different colors, but this is a taper candle holder. This is $15 and there's so many imperfections on this and it doesn't have the needle in it to help the candle stay. So let's see. Okay, it actually holds the candle really well. Yeah, there's just lots of imperfections on it. I feel like you could DIY this or get something like this at DT. Um, but let me show you in this one. Love that. Love it. When I'm a Target girl, you know that I've had to stop like, the three days after I had surgery, I went to Target. The surgeon was like, sit down. And I was like, I have to go to Target. I have to go. And I almost passed out in Target. But I, when I needed ginger ale, I died ginger ale to take my <laughs> pills. But also, I'm a Target girly. So my critiques are critiques with love, and I do love a lot of these things. I am very excited about these Figment kitchen towels. You can never have enough kitchen towels. These are so soft. They're so buttery soft. They're 100% cotton. Um, and they do have the Echo Tech certification, which is what I look for when I have any textile in my home. So I'm very happy with that. And this is a very cute sage green. It's just a great way to get a pop of color, pop of spring color in your home this season. Now we're moving on to bag number three. The next bag only has two things in it, but I'm very excited. So item number one is this temperature balancing sheet set from Casa Luna. And I've had a lot of critical things to say about the Casa Luna because a lot of their blankets shed like more than like your gray hat, not your gray hat, more than like your husky would. And I don't think that that's appropriate, but you guys have been saying, give the sheets a second try, give the sheets a second try, give the sheets a second try. So I did buy the temperature balancing ones because a lot of you have been asking for temperature balancing sheets. And a lot of the time I'm like linen and you're like, I'm not a linen girl. So we're gonna try this out. I got them in the white. Originally, I really wanted the hearth and hand linen blend sheet. 
because I have a lot of clients that really love that one, but they were out of stock and I wasn't waiting. I wasn't waiting. I needed to shop now. We needed this haul now before all these things sold out so that your home could be prepared for the spring. But I'm trying these out for you so that you have something temperature balancing. So fingers crossed, if you've tried these before, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. And if you have any temperature balancing sheets that you do recommend, please sound off down in the comments so that we can, we can you know, share the information with the masses so that people can be comfortable. This is a win. This is a win! This is a win, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. This was $30. This, I can't hold it up for you. So, thank you. This is a vase. It is a black vase. It's like, it's not perfect, but it gives me restoration hardware vibes. Um, really chic, it also CB2 vibes. Great with a real or faux floral. Very, very, very happy with it. Um, it's black. They sell similar things that like an at home, but I feel like they're not as well made as this one. This is super heavy, super dense. This is going to really finish off any vignette. And it's like at a height where it could still work in the kitchen, like and not like mess with the top of your kitchen cabinets um, and still give you that decorative touch. This is also one that I might honestly like drill a hole in and turn into like a lamp or put a lampshade on it with a puck light to get a nice like rustic organic looking lamp for less. And to go with that vase, I got these wisteria branches, but like I look more like a tree than these do. I hate to say it. So they're going back sadly, um, but- Yeah, they're $15 each. Yeah, 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 $15 a piece. But I'm actually normally blown away by the hearth and hand florals at Target. I think they make the best faux florals. I don't know if those are hearth and hand, whatever brand it is. The hearth and hand ones are really good. They rival Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel in my opinion, and they're a lot more affordable because the stem at like Crate and Barrel is like $50. So I'm normally really impressed. So don't knock them. I would still say give them a try, just not the Wisteria branch. Now we're moving on to blankets. And my sister-in-law style is very like traditional meets like Studio McGee. Um, we're gonna try and modernize it a little bit. And she needs some throws, you know, because she's going with the Coburn motion sofa from our house, the sofa I used to have. We gave it to her because she was not in a position to buy a new sofa. So I gave it to her because I'm really fortunate to have the job that I have and get things like that for free. So thank you guys for giving me such a wonderful career. And I really want to traditionalize it up a little bit because it's like a mo motion recliner. So it's very, very modern looking. So first I got the Studio McGee Threshold Knit Throw, which is so soft. Like if I were a seamstress, I would turn this into a sweater for myself. It's so soft. It comes in this green color and in a brown. I do really love the green. This is going to be dreamy on that sofa. I'm not gonna open it up now because I'm gonna take it over to the house. I'll show you some B-roll of it styled if the sofa's there, which it probably isn't yet but I will show you so be sure again to smash that subscribe button because we're going to be decorating that entire property um, on a budget on a budget we're talking Target Walmart home goods stuff like that we're doing it all on a budget so stay tuned for that because it's going to be great I also picked up this one in case the green one was bad and I picked it up because I love this fringe on the bottom it's giving mop it is giving mop, but in like a cute little endearing way. I love it. <laughs> it's giving like one of those mop dogs. You know those ones? Yeah. Okay, yeah. In the competitions. Yeah, love them. I wish our dog could be in a competition, but he can like barely walk on a leash. And trust me, we've tried. We've tried. Wiener's the best though. This is cute. I like it. I'm seeing if it sheds. Uh... Like, can you imagine a whole YouTube channel of this? Woman tests shedding of popular products. Okay, it sheds a little bit, not a lot. I would expect shedding with this type of material, but I am gonna take it over and see what I think because I really just do like the edges. It also reminds me of the hair of the girl and big comfy couch, love it. Um, I'm always really happy with the textiles from Studio McGee, so this is cute. Let me know down below what items from the new Studio McGee collection have you picked out. I've seen some chairs that I really love, but you guys know I don't need more chairs. You guys know I don't need any more chairs, so I left those all at the store. Can you imagine me um, ordering one of those for like Target delivery? Like not shipping, Target delivery. I say, hey, bring me this chair from the store. Absolutely not, that's ridiculous. <laughs> What is this? Ooh, la la. Okay, this is cute. Okay, so Target has all these new frames. This photo frame, oh, they're not gonna tell me the price. $14. Okay, great price for a frame, $14. Oh my God, this is gonna elevate any bookshelf styling that you do. 
your nightstand, if you're tired of everything giving rectangle, 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 which I know it is, which I know it is, this is gonna soften it for you. You can have a picture of your kids, you can have a picture of your dog, you can put a recipe card in here. That's actually why I bought it for our kitchen, put a little recipe card in there. I don't know why, because I don't follow any recipes. I'll spend all this time looking up this recipe and I'll be like, ah, no, they're wrong, they can't possibly be right, I'm gonna do what I want. But this is so cute. It also comes in like a brown or something similar comes in a brown, maybe not this exact one, but I'm super happy with this. Definitely keeping this. I just love that they're incorporating the arches into the decorative accents because arches were trending big time in 2023. They're still gonna be hot in 2024, but excuse me, why do you think I'm supposed to erect an arch in my home just to follow a trend that's so impractical, even though lots of people are doing it and like I'm happy for them and I'm unhappy for their bank accounts, but this is a great way to get that look for less. That's what you wanna do with trends. You want to incorporate them with smaller decorative accents so that it doesn't break the bank, but you don't get that feeling of FOMO, which is all too common. All righty. Ooh, is that a towel? It is a towel. New towels were requested. I've gotten, gotten a lot of requests from you guys on TikTok to find the best designer alternative um, towel. So I picked up this Castellina waffle towel. I really like the way this feels. It's like sensory overload in like the best way. I love it. it. It looks like the inside of a cheese grater. Have you guys seen that meme where it's like the inside of a cheese grater looks like a 90s music video? Okay, so like this is giving me similar vibes, but in white. And this is a white white. This is not a cream. This is not an off white. This is white white. This is hex code. I don't, I, I, what kind of designer can't remember the hex code for pure white? Me, I can only remember it for black. But anyway, this is cute. I'm gonna give it a try, see if it's absorbent. But this is super cute and it looks to be a pretty decent size. Like this would wrap all the way around me and I'm not a small girl. So I love that. I love that. I love that. So, okay, Castellino, we're trying to give you a second try in today's video and I'm hoping you bring me some good things because I want to be friends. I want to be friends. I was naughty on this one. Most of these things were for my sister-in-law, but I needed this for me. Don't look. Well, I can't freaking lift it, so I'm not gonna- I might have to lift it. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I was so bad. <laughs> There's nothing I love more than a nesting bowl set. This is so cute. You don't nest any of your bowls. <sighs> I'm trying though. I'm tr this is so cute. You know that meme? It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. That's how I feel about these bowls. Someone commented on my YouTube today and said I was too animated, but if there's not someone on this planet to get excited about nesting bowls, where's the joy in the world? That's what I'm saying. So I love these. These are fantastic. If I forget to put away my food at the end of the night in an attempt to save my leftovers, I'm gonna be happy waking up to this on my countertop because this is cute. So there are four pieces in here. So we have a small bowl, a top, a little bowl, a top, but it is an acai wood bowl top. This is so, win. I don't know how much this was. It could have been $5 million, which I don't have, but I would keep it. These are $40, I like it. But the bowls are dishwasher and microwave safe may get hot in microwave, as things do, as things do. The lids are hand wash only, but I'm gonna put that thing in the dishwasher and I'm not gonna have any regrets. I'm so excited about those. I'm actually loving a lot more Hearth and Hand products and Studio McGee products. You guys drag Joanna Gaines for filth, but I, she was the first one to come onto the scene and really do the damn thing, especially as someone who didn't go to interior design school. I think her designs are great. I think her designs are timeless. And I think that you can incorporate things from different styles into your style. Um, and that's going to make your home look more layered, better curated, and more sophisticated. So leave her and Chip alone. Leave them alone, because they're doing something good. The last item came in a plastic bag. I have a plastic bag ban in Pittsburgh, so I wanna know where they got this from. But the reason it's going back to the store is that I don't like the filling. It looks like I'm giving CPR to like one of those dummies. Or at least that's what I did in my EMT class. Anyway, I do really like the velvet that is this brown velvet. It is cute, but I wanted two. They also only had one. So if I can't do the two pillows on either side, then I can't have this at all. But I'm very pleased with the velvet. The zipper is really well hidden. So I'm gonna give them an A. I'm grading them and they're getting an A from me. But I really do wish, and let's start a petition, that Target would start just selling pillow covers like for throw pillows, not for normal pillows. I know they already do that for that, but just pillow covers instead of pillows with the inserts because I don't want your insert. 
I don't want that from you, but I do want your pillow covers because they are A+. plus. But that is it for today's $500 Target haul. There were only a few things that I was like, absolutely not, this has to go back to the store. I was pleasantly surprised. I hadn't been to Target in a while, but they are rolling out some really good high quality things that I definitely think you're gonna wanna pick up. I've linked everything down here. Um, you can see the carousel of all the items. I've also linked them in the description box and pinned them in the comments in case you wanna pick any items up. Let me know where you want a haul from next. I'm always happy to test out products for you and spend my money before you spend your hard-earned money. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and until next time, have a beautiful day.